Birria Ramen. It's a thing, my friends. We're taking that amazing, rich, spiced Mexican soup and we're adding a bit of a ramen twist to it. This is my version of a Birria Ramen noodle soup. So birria tacos, they have been like blowing up my feed lately. And then I saw a few people making birria ramen and I was like, oh my God, genius. So I had to get in on that. Uh, now we're going to be doing a quite classic version of the birria side of things, which is a very traditional uh, spiced and slow braised soup. Uh, and then we're going to add in our ramen elements at the end. So let's get on to doing the birria part first of all. So I'm going to use some beef ribs here. I love how like soft and gelatinous these guys get after this treatment. Just pop them into a tray here and I want to get them all luxuriating in like some salt and pepper business. Make sure you're doing all the sides. And I really think at its heart, this dish is all about how you lay the flavors. So at each step, I want to be really careful to be seasoning and searing and doing all the things that are going to bring out the best spiced, beautiful flavors. Now just let those beef ribs sit. I need to make a marinade, which is also gonna be part of the sauce later on. So it serves a double purpose. Now I'm starting off here with some chipotle in adobo sauce. So a nice smoky chili pepper kind of vibe going on here. And some tomato. Some vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar, which is an Asian style, but uh, even just a white vinegar would do. Some garlic. Now I'm using some fresh oregano here just because I found some at my local market this morning, but you could also use dried too. And now for the spices. So some smoked paprika and some ground cumin. Now just give this a blitz. Wow, it's like I can already smell that birria, like smoked chili kind of thing going on. It's already making me smile. <laughs> okay, so just pour that over your beef ribs. Now make sure they're nicely covered. And you know that I am always an advocate of taking shortcuts whenever I can, but I do find that these really do benefit from an overnight marinade. It kind of um, really allows the beef to take on the flavor of that sauce, but also the acidity that's in the sauce and the salt that we put on the beef, it really kind of helps to tenderize the beef as well. So overnight in the fridge, please. So these are some ribs that I made yesterday because I was very organized. Um, and what I want to do before we get cooking those is actually make a little bit of a, a flavor base for them. So I just want some oil into like a casserole dish or a Dutch oven and then throw in some onions. At the base of so many good soups and stews is sauteed onion. So you may as well do it right if you're going to do it. And what I like to do is the onion plus a little bit of salt. Now I also want to add in some more spices here, cinnamon sticks and some whole cloves. Now you want to give those onions time to do their thing. I find that if you don't let the onions kind of cook down and you add your other ingredients, you kind of get this raw onion flavor even after, you know, hours of cooking. So that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so time to add the ribs and what I want to do is take off some of this marinade or most of it because I want to sear the beef in that oil and I don't want the marinade to burn so just take that off and get those ribs into the pan and again there's technique here which is helping you get the ultimate flavor from your soup because when you're getting that browning and the caramelization on the meat you're also getting flavor so give those beef ribs time to get a little bit of color and make sure you get all sides. Okay, so now that the beef has some nice color, we can add in our marinade and also some beef stock. Ah, that color is so delightful already. So just wait until you can see some little bubbles forming there and then turn the heat down. And now we need to be really patient. <laughs> Go and watch a Netflix show or something. Um, we've got four hours now until that beef is really beautifully soft and tender. Ah. 
Okay, so I've been very patient because my kitchen is currently smelling amazing. Uh, but let's have a look in here, shall we? Oof. Oh my goodness. I can, that beef is so soft. <laughs> One little nudge and it's all going to fall apart. Ah, oh, look at that bone comes clean out. And actually, so when I made this the first time, I figured out that this is the real danger point in the recipe because this beef, have a look, oh my goodness, is so soft and ridiculously delicious right now that it's really hard to kind of wait. But wait you should because there is another even more delicious step yet to come. Just wait and see. Okay, so just releasing all of that meat and it just, I mean, it just falls apart. So soft, tender. So now the real secret here, I think this one little additional step, which makes this amazing, is I'm gonna take some of that red oil from the top of that braising liquid. And we're gonna use this oil to fry that beautifully gelatinous beef into something that's kind of sticky and crispy and still tender and wonderful. It's, quite, it's, it's really quite magical. <laughs> you can leave a little bit of oil on the top there. I really love a, a noodle soup that has that lovely sheen of cooking oil on the top. Uh, now I'm just gonna strain off the other aromatics from the soup though. Now just use that ladle to push that soup through I mean, we've worked so hard on all that flavor. I don't want to miss any of that beautiful broth. And now to bring everything together, just spoon a little bit of your lovely spiced oil into a pan. Add some of your slow braised beef. And then just keep that moving around in there until you get lovely little crispy bits. Now I've had my broth heating up. I'm going to cook my ramen noodles. Okay, so when your noodles are tender, grab those guys out. It's always a little messy, this one. <laughs> that red sauce is delicious, but don't get it on your clothes. <laughs> so now you want your beautiful, crispy, but tender, spicy beef. Oh my God, this thing is just like a work of art. Oh, ladle that hot soup all over the top. Now I've got some other bits and pieces here, just some finely sliced cabbage, an egg, some jalapeno chilies, and just a little bit of coriander at the end here. Wow, there you go. I mean, that is like literally a bowl of heaven for me. Oh. Now I like to do this with a little squeeze of lime, so just pop that on. And now I just need to get in here Oh, wow. Holy smokes, that is so good. Guys, that flavor is so complex. You've got all the beautiful spices. You've got the chili spice as well. And like that beef, because it's sort of released all of its flavor into that soup. It's just, oh, it really is amazing. Noodles, beef. Mm. If there is one noodle soup you make this year, it's got to be this one. Wow, 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 wow. So impressed with myself. <laughs> now leave me alone <laughs> with my noodles and my soup. Hey guys, if you like spicy noodle soups just as much as I do, then I reckon you should hit that little bell button at the bottom, which means you subscribe and you get notified every time there's something soupy or spicy or delicious coming out on my channel. Thanks guys.